At DPS, we get a lot of questions about remote propane monitoring, so I want to tackle the two most common questions with you today. And those are, is it really difficult to install? How do I install the float and the sensor? Do I have to drain my tank? Just how painful is it to do this? And then the second question is, once I've got the necessary hardware installed, how do I bring the data home and actually get alerts based on it? So I want to address both of those right now. We'll start with this float. This is a very common design and your propane tank probably has something like this in it already. And that's great because ideally we're going to be able to keep using it. Basic design here. The black float goes up and down with the rise and fall of your liquid level inside the tank. And as you'll see that causes this white gear to rotate. And when that happens, it's engaged with a perpendicular gear with black teeth. It's pretty hard to see, but that is connected to a shaft that runs up this silver cylinder. So it's actually rotating inside as I turn the float gear up and down. And then what happens when it reaches the top, that shaft terminates just underneath this brass hexagon here. And what's happening is a magnet is rotating just underneath this plate. And that's good news because if you look at the threading here, this is for the port at the top of your tank. And you'll just have this protruding from the top. So this is a airtight sealed interface where the magnet reaches through and controls the gauge. So you already have this in your tank most likely and we can continue to use it. So how does the gauge work? You can see I'm going to put just a basic gauge on here. And we'll try to turn that right side up. Okay. Then as the float level goes up and down you can see the magnet caught and now it's just following along. And so as the level changes the gauge reading changes. And that's great if I'm out at the site and I'm staring at this needle, but how do we do this remotely? Well, this gauge in particular can be used in this config, but that's a bit of a waste because it's what's called R3D ready. You can see it's got this little cutout in the faceplate, and that's a standard that accepts an R3D sensor. So we'll slide that in and it just clicks in. And once I've done that, that will now pick up the level of the needle. And you can see it keeps itself clear visually, so you can still read the needle if you're out of the site, but also we're going to get an output. So let's just put this back on the float. So you can see as the level goes up and down, the magnet causes the needle to rotate and is also picked up by the sensor. So what happens then? Well, the sensor terminates with a couple of wires, and this is a zero to five volt output that you can go to a remote terminal unit with. So if your RTU has analog inputs that can accept voltage, you're ready to go. And you would just set up the scaling so that zero is one level and five volts is another level. And that's gonna translate from a voltage that doesn't make a lot of sense into a percentage of fuel remaining. So that's really all it takes to set up propane. It's quite convenient. You are most likely not going to have to drain your tank as long as you have a float that is something like this, that has this sealed magnetic operation where you don't need to do anything other than pop the gauge off the top. You can see the two screw holes here and just replace it. You do want to be careful about size. There are Rochester Junior and Senior gauges. Rochester is the manufacturer. They make two different gauges and they're only about 20% different in size. So you want to be sure you measure this on the top of your tank to make sure you get the right model. But other than that, you just remove the old gauge, insert a new one that is machine readable, connect it to some kind of a remote monitoring RTU like the NetGuardians that DPS manufactures, and you'll be all set. So if you have any more questions about propane monitoring at all, hop onto the website dpstele.com. You can also give us a call at 1-800-693-0351 and ask for Andrew and I might pick up your call.